What's up everybody? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create add to wishlist button in an Astra based WooCommerce website so that your users can save their favorite products in a list and purchase them later. I'm also going to show you how you can place a counter on the header of your website or anywhere that you wish so that your users can easily see the number of items they have in their wish list. I'm also going to talk about multi-list which allows your users to create multiple lists for very large e-commerce websites and save their favorite product in each list and also wait list which allows your users to get notification for a single product. So join me and ruin this tutorial. So here I have an e-commerce website built with the WooCommerce and the Astra theme. And uh, I'm just going to add wishless functionality to it so that my users can simply see a little icon here and click on it and add their product to wishlist. And the icon should be present both on single product pages and archive pages. Now the plugin we are going to use here is MC Wishlist from More Convert. It's very powerful and feature list, regularly updated, and it just works great with the Astra theme and also the Elementor page builder or any kind of page builder for modifying the default layout. So here I'm just going to activate this plugin and I have installed it. I have the MC WooCommerce wishlist, which is the base plugin. You can just get it for free from the WordPress repository. And I'm just going to activate it. Now here is a quick wizard. We're just going to escape it because you can change all of the settings later. So it's just fine. I'm also going to activate the pro version of this plugin. You don't need to purchase it for creating the basic wishlist functionality, but purchasing it gives you much more features and customization options. And here we're just going to need it because I wanna talk about wishlist and waitlist in the end, and you do need this plugin for them to work. But otherwise, if you just want to play with it and have a basic wishlist, you don't need to have the pro version to follow this tutorial. So now I can just activate it. And now if I just visit my website, you can see that right away out of the box, I have this wish list functionality. So I can just click on this little heart icon. It's just going to add the product into a wish list. And I can just click on it to visit my wish list. I can remove my products from here or add them to car. So it's just working out of the box and it's great. Now you might wanna customize your buttons, change the color, uh, change the style or maybe put it, for example, on the left or in the bottom. You can just do all of these things from the settings. So all you have to do is to just click on more convert and then wish list. Here we have tons of options that you can use. For example, you can customize the text being shown. You can customize the counter, which we will talk about. But here in the wish list button section, we have the styling for your wish list. For example, you can just put it on the right or left or even after add to cart like this, we also can change the button type. So by default, it's icon only. I can just set it into icon and text. And we can also have the same options for our archive pages. So here we can just change the options for your archive page. So if I just save changes and bring my shop page, and click on a single product. You can see that now it's add to wishlist. I have the text and view my wishlist when I click on it. And also the position have changed. Now also you can change the icon from here. So the default is this harsh regular two, but you can change it to the icons available here or even a custom icon. So here we have custom icons. So you can just grab an icon SVG from the internet and just put it there. So let's just select this star and save changes. Now, if I just refresh, you can see that we have this little star icon. So these are the options for your single product pages. Now, as you can see, different options are available to us and we can customize this add to wishlist button, but you might want something that is not available to you. Maybe you have a very customized design and you just want to use that design and just place your add to wishlist button in that design in a specific position, maybe above your image or below it or left or maybe in a column. So you just want to have your custom design. Now, in this case, all you need to do is to just disable the default positioning of the button and just use it yourself in your design via source codes or the integration that this plugin has with 
powerful page builders like the pro version of Elementor. So let's see that option. So in the setting and button position, we have another option which we didn't talk about and that's use shortcut. So basically it's just going to give you a shortcut which you can just copy and put anywhere. So if I just activate this option, save changes and refresh, you can see that we no longer have add to wishlist button because we have to place it manually. Now you can just use any kind of plugin that allows you to manipulate or redesign WooCommerce product templates. In this case, we are just going to use a pro version of Elementor. So here I just can add a single layout. And let's just start with the default because we do not have time to create one from scratch. So I'm just going to insert it. And now if I just bring my widgets, you can see that we have more converse widgets. So more converse integrates greatly with Elementor and I can just simply select a widget from here. So now if I just select this add to wishlist widget and click on it, it's just going to be added into my design and now I can just place it anywhere I want. So I can just place it, for example, above this price or below it or create a separate column and put it in there. So I have the full power of my page builder. So let's just put it just below this image like this. And now I just have to click on publish and add condition and let's just do it for all products. So save and close. And now if I just refresh, we get the new design as well as the new position of view my wishlist or add to wishlist. So this way you can just simply put it anywhere you like. Now I'm just going to quickly change it and put it below my title like this because I think it's a little nicer and more useful. So here we have add to wishlist. And also uh, you get lots of style options here for Elementor. So you can just change the text, change the icon, border. So it's just great. It just integrates greatly with Elementor. Now, if your page builder does not have this dedicated widget, it's still fine because we have the shortcut. So all you have to do is to just search for shortcut, which all page builders support, and simply place your shortcut here. Now, this is add to wish list, which is available in their website. So you can just place it here. So now I'm just going to remove it and update the changes and bring my website. Now, the next thing I just wanna talk about is to add a little counter so that your users can see the number of items they have in their wish list. It's again, very easy to do. All you have to do is to just bring your customizer and then your header. So here in the Asterisk Header Builder, and here you can just simply put the widgets for your wish list counter. Now you can see that we have this wish list counter available to us and I can just simply drag it to wherever I want. Now, if your theme again does not support this uh, and does not have a dedicated widget, you can still use the available shortcode for the wishlist counter and you basically get the same thing. Now, if I just bring a product and add it to wishlist, you can see that this counter is going to increase. So that's really cool. I can also click on it and it will just bring the wishlist page and I can just manage all my items in the wishlist. Now, as I told you, if you want to for any reason and if your theme does not have it, use the HTML, it's totally fine. So all you have to do is to just add an HTML widget to your header. So here I'm just going to bring my header builder and then click on widgets and add an HTML widget. Simply drag it into where I want. And now I can just simply paste my shortcode publish and as you can see we get the same thing so this time with html and shortcode so you have that optionality as well now the final thing that i want to talk about is multi-list and wait list because the pro version has these two options so if i just bring the setting you can see that we have wish list multi-list and wait list all you have to do is to just activate them so here i'm just going to activate the multi-list now if i just bring my website we have the multi-list functionality activated of course it's overlapping with my wish list 
because out of the box in this version they are both being positioned on the top right but it's very easy to fix so all I have to do is to just change it from the top right to something like top left and in this case I'm just going to use flexbox because it allows row wrapping so if I just add more icon it's just going to go into the second row instead of overlapping so now it's just working of course we have the shortcut functionality so you can customize your design if you wish now finally we have the wait list again uh, we have the button positioning so let's this time put it on the flexbox or maybe just bottom so flexbox uh, bottom so I'm just going to do the same for the product listing it's totally up to you and now if I just save changes and visit my website you can see that we have all three of them and all of them are completely working so we have the wait list and also multi list which allows our users to create multiple lists so here we have the wait list on the bottom because we positioned it but it's totally up to you where you want and for all of them you can simply use short codes to just put it anywhere you want using a page builder and also for the header we do have widgets for the counter for them so here if I just again bring my header you can see that we have the wishlist counter and multi-list counter and waitlist counter so we have widgets for all three of them now for example I can just place this uh, waitlist counter here or simply drag it to the right and just put it beside my wishlist counter like this and now it's just beside my wishlist counter and that's it everyone thanks for watching if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and like always you can reach our team from the link in the description